I'm here to talk to you about items that I cannot live without. First off is a cast iron skillet or pot, also known as a Dutch oven. This is a cast iron skillet and this is a, uh, is a Dutch oven. Um, I, I like to buy them in cast iron. They are extremely durable and they hold their value for a long, long time. My personal one that I use on my house actually belonged to, to my grandmother, which also belonged to her mother, which just shows you how durable and how long they, they can last. They're very easy to clean. Um, you can just uh, wash them out very fast. I, uh, I do recommend to just dry them off right away. Um, you can eat, you can also take a, a paper towel and very lightly uh, coat the inside w w with some oil just to, to keep it shiny and keep it from any chance of any rust. This is one equipment that I cannot live without is my blender. I love my blender. I use it for different things like making a dressing, making a soup, making a hummus, but mostly soups because I'm always on the go and all I want to do is make a nice meal and run out of the house. I blend my vegetables, make a little stock, combine them all together, get all the nutrition value of it, blend it a little bit and then I just just put on the stove for a few minutes and it's ready to eat. Blender like this ranges from $20 up to $50. It's really affordable and it's one equipment I cannot live without. My best piece of equipment is a frying pan with a lid. Now with a frying pan you can cook a full course meal for at least six people. You can start cooking your rice, three cups of rice, three cups of water. Then you take it out, put it in a bowl, cover it with foil. Then you put it back on the stove on high, some oil, and you take four pieces of chicken breast and seal it. And then you start your sauce. Again, you put it on high, oil, garlic, onion, pepper, celery, whatever you got, chopped uh, tomatoes, chicken base, and water. Now you bring back your chicken that you sealed before, you put it in the sauce, cover it with the lid, and then let it cook for like 30 minutes. 